Hey guys, this is me, Mr. Pause HD, and welcome back to Let's Play Yogcroft slash Feed the Beast. So, if you missed last episode, we made that Wither Skeleton spawner behind that uh, warehouse over there. We also uh, get, managed to get some seed oil and some honey. We're still getting a bit now. I've, I've managed to put some more uh, seeds in there and a tiny bit more honey in there, but not too much because we're running a li bit, little bit low. Um, today, we're also going to be um, looking at our trees, see if we can get that last sweet chestnut sapling that we need. And also, I've noticed on this thing, we haven't crossed off the XP farm. So we're going to cross that off. There we go. And we're also going to go and check up on that XP farm in a bit. So um, I've actually managed to get more than four stacks of coal already. So I've put them in the Sterling engines over there to power this thing. Um, but it's all looking good. And now if we have enough time, once we've got the sweet chestnut and looked at the XP farm, we're going to maybe fix up this clock tower because it's not looking too healthy. Um, it just looks like... I don't know, like a, a little canopy sort of thing. It's got a block sticking out as well. No, that's part of the roof. So, yeah, I'm, I think we're going to go and um, look at this XP farm then. Now, I've got 33 levels. I might go and get a book and quickly enchant a book just so that I can get rid of the um, levels that I've got and I can see um, how many levels I get. So, I need to make a book. So, it's one leather and what else is it? Paper. So, we'll get some three paper. I've got four. Put that back in there. And right, let's go make this. So we need that like that, and a, pe uh, and a piece of leather. We've got a book. So let's go up to our enchanting table. Now we have an enchanted table in here. Um, I've been using the honeycomb in the centrifuge. I can't remember which one it was. Um, and that's been getting me some honey drops, and that's what I use to make the honey. So we're going to put the book in. Level 30. Thank you. Looting 2. Now that's not a bad enchantment. Um, I've got a lot of enchantments here. Um, so yeah, like, look, look at all these that I've just been getting from my XP farm. So we're going to hopefully get some really good enchantments. Uh, we could enchant, even enchant these, this pick if I wanted to. Got that many levels. So, um, yeah, but let's go check how many levels we can get just by standing in here. You ready? Oh my God. This is like a shower. Already level 21. There's a bit more levels on the other side. Let's go get them. Oh my goodness, how many levels? So we've got 22, nearly 23 levels already. Wow, that is something. 23 levels. So I'm just going to keep let that keep going. Let's see. Oh, we've got some more coal as well. So we had four stacks. So it's already produced about five and a half stacks, that, which is awesome. So we're going to be getting a lot of stuff. Now, we haven't actually got any wither skeleton skulls yet, which is kind of surprising. Because normally, oh, there's three in here. Hmm, I'll just take them out. Seven in there. Um, wow, well, that's probably why. 21 in there. So, um, yeah, we're getting quite a lot of wither skeletons, uh, skulls as well. Uh, I've, I've dumped, I've chosen to dump off the bones just because I think I've got enough. Let's have a look in here. Yeah, I've got quite a lot. So I don't think I'll be needing bones too much yet. Um, so now I'm going to quickly grab some grafters. It is night time, so I might go and have a quick sleep. That one's run out, but um, oh well. And we're going to go graft some trees. So let's stick the grafter in our inventory. Yeah, I think I think I'm going to go graft some uh, go graft some trees. I think I'm going to go to bed quickly because it seems to be not a very nice day. Now I have seen on the on the um, farm that not as many mobs are spawning, which is great. I mean, if you look on the map now, you can see that that there's not many mobs on the map. Just the wither skeletons, the sheep and the cows that I've got from all my spawners. But yeah, so it's not looking too bad. Now we've got a sapling right here. Let's have a, have a look at what we can get. Now I've left these for so long, all of the leaves have actually been able to, um, well, n like not ripen. They've become, um, actually no, is it is it ripen? I think it's ripen. Um, so all the leaves will give me a either a walnut, if it's a walnut tree, or a cherry, if it's the cherry trees. So, we might get quite a lot of walnuts from this. I have managed to take them take them all down once already. And yeah, it took a long time and I got a lot of walnuts from it. So, that's why we've got already quite a bit of seed oil. Let's dig this one. What was that? I think that's it. We've got the sweet chestnut. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's it. We've got all the sweet chestnut saplings we need. We've got th another three in the storehouse. What I need to do now is chop down all these trees, and then we're going to have to dig up all um, 
uh, dig up, pick up all the walnuts and cherries, and I'm, I'm going to show you how much you get just from, well, digging up a couple of trees. I mean, are you ready for this? Right, let's 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 start doing this. Now this is where my inventory is pretty much just going to get chock-a-block with logs, cherries, walnuts, and a lot and lot of saplings. So, yeah, I'm going to have to... Look, we've already got some, some walnuts there. We've already got a lot over there. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. We're going to have a lot of stuff now. Another good thing about this tree breeding, actually, is I'm going to definitely replenish all the logs I, I need. Because, I mean, from just this tree, I get, I don't know... How many? Well, I've already got 54, and I've only dug one tree so far. Only axed one tree, so I'm going to get quite a lot. And this is going to get extremely laggy with all these things on the floor, so I might just quickly chop all these down and show you how many things I've got, because, oh my god, there's so much stuff on the floor at the moment. Oh dear, that's my axe broken. Oh, that's not good. And look, I've just been running around for a tiny bit, and look how much stuff I've already got. Now, I'm going to need to get rid of all these logs still. Now, I'll probably just go and make another axe, because this is going to take ages otherwise, so... Yeah, let's go make another axe. Oh my god. Look at all these walnuts. We've got too many. Oh my god. Okay, well, let's go make another axe then. I might have one spare, actually. That, that'd be quite good if I do. Oh my goodness. we just got so much stuff already. Um, do we have another axe? We don't. Okay. Let's get another gem then. We've got lots of gems. Um, what we don't have is uh, space in our inventories. So let's clear out some of this walnuts. Um, there we go. We've also got those four chestnut saplings. Great. So we'll be able to get some some a bit more higher quality nuts from them, I think, which will be awesome. And we've also got a lot of walnut wood. Um, we also already had some, but uh, we've got a lot more now. But over two stacks, which is awesome. Uh, so let's... Oh, I didn't make the axe, did I? Oopsie. Right, let's quickly get some sapphires. I like the blue ones. Uh, and then some sticks. We've got quite a lot of sticks. Oh, like so. And then we'll go and put these in the crafting table and make ourselves an axe. A sapphire axe. Lovely. Right, so let's go and chop down the rest of the trees. Okay, so that's all the trees um, axed now. And it's looking a bit bare, but I can already see loads more walnuts falling from the trees. So let's become a hoover. And start hoovering up all these walnuts. Look at all the all of the walnuts, the cherries. Oh my goodness! Look at all this. I'm gonna be here for a long time actually because they keep on falling as well. So I'm just gonna have look. Oh my goodness! Too many walnuts. Oh, at least we're gonna get a lot of seed oil from this. That's the good thing. So that what, what that means? More seed oil, more power. So yeah, with our new new and improved power plant, um, we should be able to get quite a bit of power from this. Oh, but oh my god, we're going to need some sort of automated system to get these nuts because they just drop so many. We, we can just get like unlimited seed oil from this. Oh my goodness. Right, I'm just going to keep doing this for a bit. Hopefully I'll be able to pick them all up. Eventually I'm just going to get a full inventory, but oh well, it will happen. And hopefully I'll get enough walnuts um, to fill up my squeezers. That'd be quite good. Okay, so I think I've picked up most of the uh, the walnuts, but I can still see more falling. At least my FPS is back up to normal because, oh my goodness, just it was just too much. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, I think near enough I've got uh, most of them. This isn't all of it, don't worry. I've, I've had to um, get rid of all the stuff in my inventory because I just had too much stuff. Now I'm going to quickly go for a pot shot of that creeper. Oh, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to go and have a quick sleep. And then we're going to uh, have a look at what this sweet chestnut tree looks like. And then we're going to put all the walnuts in our squeezers and see... Well, how much seed oil we can get from it. So let's just quickly go to sleep. Ah, there we go. Lovely morning. And now I think it's time to go and look at this sweet chestnut tree. So let's go into the storehouse. I can't sprint. There we go. And we'll also get a piece of bone meal. Uh, bone meal. We'll just get 52. Why not? And we'll get the four sweet chestnut saplings. Now we could probably put away all these grafters as well. So let's just stick them all back in this chest. And let's have a look at what this tree looks like. Okay, so it's a two by two, so it's simple like that. And then we got a bone meal, and oh, that's not bone meal, that's a common walnut sapling. We don't want that. And we just, there we go. And look at that beautiful tree. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 
these. I'm, I'm just going to leave this tree here for a bit, actually. It looks quite nice. Uh, also, I want to um, let the leaves ripen so that we can get the sweet chestnuts from it. And, oh my god, this is amazing. So, let's just have a quick look at what the log looks like. Oh my goodness. That's like a... Oh wow, it's like a creamy sort of colour. Very nice. Okay, so we're gonna. I want to kind of put this, put this log back because I didn't want to mess up the tree. Oops. There we go. Looking better. It's, it's like a mossy sort of log, isn't it? Though. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna leave that there. Hopefully, the seeds, the seed, seeds, the um, nuts will fall off it eventually. And now I'm gonna go and get all the walnuts we've got. So yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness. Right. This is this is a lot. Okay. So this is a big job. Uh, we're going to stick the rest of the cherries in there, and now let's just get all of the walnuts. Now, these only replenish half a hunger, so that's actually classed as one hunger, like, because e each um, half is one. So, yeah, um, this only does one hunger, I think, so, yeah, it doesn't do too much. Um, and now all we're going to do is stick it in these squeezes. We've already got some walnuts left over, and we're just going to fill up all these squeezes. Oh, my God. We've just got too much. Too much. There we go. So, actually, this also um, makes a byproduct of uh, mulch, which I don't actually know what you use mulch for. Let's have a look. You use mulch to... Nothing. You don't use mulch. Okay. That makes sense. I, I don't know why that's not working. Oh, there we go. There. Oh, oh, I don't want to do that. Um, let's <laughs> click on it again. Mulch you use to make hummus, uh, bog earth, oh okay, instead of water buckets, um, and you can also crate it, so not too handy, but you know, why not have it? And we're going to get lots of seed oil, now let's actually have a look at how much seed oil we've got, just so we can compare to see how, many, how much we'll be able to get, so we've already got 84,000, and that's filled up quite a lot, so, well, we're going to get a lot, basically, so I'm just going to let that tick over. Leave that to do what it's doing, and let's see how much honey we've got. We shouldn't have too much honey because, yeah, we've only got 10,000 honey because, well, I haven't been able to produce that much um, honeycomb just because we haven't got these apiarist pipes that filter out the bees and all of that stuff. Um, so I've just been out to um, wait here and, like, gather it up as it, it, like, produces the honey. So, yeah, but maybe that's what we should do next, um, get these apiarist pipes. So, apiarist pipes are uh, quite hard to make just because you need propopolis. You also need a diamond transfer by put. That's not too hard for us as we know that trick with the minium stone. So yeah, all we need is a diamond transfer pipe and these and this propopolis. And you can make the propopolis um by squeezing um oh that's not it. Uh where is it? Okay, it doesn't show it, but you can actually um squeeze the honey drops and there's a five percent chance of getting propopolis. So let's go see how much propopolis we've got from the honey drops we've been getting. Okay, so we've got four. Now that's enough to make two apiarist pipes, so well, why not do it? Let, let's go do it, come on then. So all this will do is um, it will make us be able to uh, filter our bees so that some of them go in the chest, uh, the ones we don't want go in the chest, and the um, like the items and the products go into the chest also. So we've also got oh, a lot of honey drops in here actually, I didn't notice this. Now we need a diamond transport pipe, so let's get two. Let's also put the mulch in the chest downstairs. Wow, my frame rate. For some reason, my attic's really, like, laggy up there. I don't know why. Um, I don't know what's happening up there, but it's probably, like, some creepers having a party or something. I don't know. So there we go. We've got two apiarist pipes already. Now, we've also got a lot more walnuts left over. So we're just going to leave them in there for now. And now we're going to go place these on the, um, like, the setups I've got here. Now, actually, I still haven't showed you guys the autantic gates that I've got here. Like, let me just take it off a sec. Right, so if we put these wooden waterproof, uh, wooden pipe down. Now you've noticed, I've actually been sucking stuff out of this ap apiary uh, without using a redstone engine. That's because I made this autarctic gate. And this is quite easy to make. Well, you need an assembly table, which is in that room there that I've got. Um, you power it with lasers and stuff, and it's it's kind of expensive. But, well, we, once again, as I say, we've got the um, trick where we can make diamonds. So it's not too hard. And all we need for that is a gate which is just a redstone chipset, which is one redstone. And um, you also need the pulsating chipset, which is an ender pearl, um, and a, pulse a redstone iron chipset, which is an iron. So it's not too hard to make, and I've got one for each of these now. I've had enough uh, materials left over, so that's good. And all you have to do is place it on, on this wooden um, 
transport pipe, click on it, and then you can change it to whatever you like. So I changed it to items in inventory, so it will suck out the items in the inventory, and then it will, um, which one is it? It's energy pulser. So when it um, uh, detects something is in the item's inventory, it will send an energy pulse um, to the, water, uh, the wooden pipe, and that means it like sort of acts as a redstone engine, so it'll pipe stuff out and like that. Um, first, we're gonna put down the. Oh no, that's that's the wrong place. We don't want it there. We want it here. So it's just above the apiary, uh, apiary, like here. And we're also gonna connect this up. And then, as you can see, we've got black going into the apiary, apiary, and the green going into the chest. So we want green as anything, so that well, any items or any bees go in there. But then we want, in the black, we want uh, any bees, I think. Yeah, it's any bees. So all bees will go into here, um, because it always produces at least one princess or one drone. Uh, and if it does produce two drones, then one of them will go in, and then the apiary pipe detects that one's already in there. So then it will take it and put it in the chest. So this is quite a easy way to get the honeycombs that we need. Oh, we've already got four in there. Um, we probably got a load in all these chests, haven't we? Okay, so yeah, we we've already made um quite a bit more. Um, not not just in that time, but yeah. Oh my goodness, glitch, glitch. Anyone see this glitch? We've got a glitch. Oh my goodness, what the hell? Oh, okay, so it's actually working and it's just piped out. So that's interesting. Uh, we're gonna put that as anything. Oh no, wait. We want the green as anything, and that as any bees. So that's all you need to do really, and then. What are these? Are these just drones. Yeah, they're just drones. Okay, um, so this should work for now. What the hell's happened to this thing? It's become like a block. No, that's not good. Oh well, um, probably just some random glitch. Now I'm gonna need some more pipes for this actually, and hopefully we'll be able to get enough honeycomb. I'm just gonna check all these chests for honeycomb. Um, oh, there's one there. I've got another walnut now. I don't really want walnuts. Don't give me them walnuts. Um, we also got honeycomb in there. Do we, have, we don't have a chest there, and do we have honeycomb in here? Nope. Uh, I think I checked that one, yeah. Okay, so we've got six more honeycomb. Now all I need to do now is put this in the centrifuge, and that'll make us some more honey drops. And we can put them in our squeezers, and maybe make some more propolis. So, well, that is the centrifuge, okay. So we can just put that in there. We can turn on our peat engine, using our peat that we've got from our peat farm. And that provides power for this, and it's already got some beeswax. Okay, maybe that was already in there, I don't know. Um, so, have any of the, these leaves got... No, I don't think any of them are ripened yet. But you can see we've, we're definitely getting a lot more seed oil. I mean, how many how many walnuts has it squeezed already? Can't have been too much because, well... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's done nearly a stack. Um, and it's only produced one mulch each. So, you can see mulch is like a 5% chance as well. Um, now, at least we'll be able to store a lot of power in these redstone energy cells. So that's all going good. Now the next thing I want to do is that clock tower up there. So I think I'm going to get the materials to do that. And then um, I guess um, in between this and next episode, I'll have to put down some new trees for crossbreeding. I don't know what I'm going to be doing just yet because I think the sweet chestnut's the last tree on the list in the line that I've been just like going, like the walnut tree and the nut trees. Um, so uh, you can actually make a willow tree, but I've already made that. Basically, you have to do it in a swamp biome and put a sweet chestnut tree with, uh, I think it's a cherry tree you can do it with. Um, so, yeah, but you can see over here, I gave my friend a little present by giving him a willow tree. And that's what it looks like. It looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? Um, and I've got a lot of samplings for that, actually, so I'll just be able to use them whenever I like. So, what we also need to do is make a couple more farms, like the melon and the pumpkins. And the, what else have I got here? It just says melons. Okay. Um... So, I think I'm going to get the materials for this place up here, and I'm going to go make the clock tower look a bit better. So be right back, and we'll see how it gets on. Okay, so there we have it, the clock tower. As you can see, I've used the walnut planks we've got from the trees that we've just dug up. I've also used uh, some uh, white wool that we've got from our sheep farm, um, over there somewhere. And we've also got some yellow and black wool, just to make it look a bit more like a clock. So there we go, we've got our clock tower there. This episode has been pretty successful. successful. We checked up on our Wither Skeleton spawner. And we've got lots of stuff from that. Lots of XP. As you can see, we've got 24 levels already just by walking over there for a bit. We've also managed to find our last sweet chestnut tree, as you can see, just below my mouse, like my cursor. 
Um, also, we've got a bit more seed oil and we made some apiarist pipes. So all in all, it's been a really successful episode. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.